But okay. it's amazing. Well, I come to these um, weekly groups, and uh, I don't know why I would expect anything else, but you are just so um, so relevant with what I've been experiencing. And I was I just wanted to say thank you so much because I've had two instances, one with an ex of mine from way, way back that um, I have to see fairly regularly because we both serve on a committee together, although I know that's my choice, and we do a lot of voluntary work very closely side by side together. So we've kind of muddled our way through over the years. But I had a conversation with him that I thought was quite disturbing. A lot of them are quite disturbing, to be honest. But um, in, in terms of uh, they're saying to me exactly what you've said, that, um, and I've forgotten what triggered it, um, but he said, "But you're the same old Rach you, you you've always been. You haven't you haven't changed. You're the same. You're the same old Rach." And reeled off a whole load of stuff that, in his mind, was how I used to be. And in, and and as you said, I have worked so hard on me, and it took me to a really bad place. I thought I meditate every day. I've gone to lectures, seminars, workshops, read books when I started this journey over twenty years ago. And I felt really shit. I thought, have I not changed? Am I, is there something that I'm not doing to make that obvious to the people in my life? And another similar incident to a guy that I've known for years and years and years, who is very, very, very stuck in negativity. And when I was stuck in that place, he was kind of like my stepdad because I didn't have that relationship with my dad. And he said a similar thing. So I'm so glad that you said, it's not me, because I was thinking it was me and I'm not putting out there or, I, or I'm not letting them see it or I'm not letting my light shine bright enough or what can I do? And actually what comes to me now, it's, it's a part of them that needs to validate who they are by keeping me in a place that they're used to do you know what I mean? I'm yes. not expecting yeah, no. you know, you know, you're, you're spot on. And, there, yeah. this word, as you were speaking, this word validation came into my mind and it was, they need to validate who they are by keeping me yes. where they want me. Yeah, you serve a purpose to them. If yeah. you are, if you stay that person who they think that you are, that who you used to be, you're serving a, a, a purpose to them. You're, you're, it's like some people don't want to move out of an, um, into something new. So some people are quite fearful and they need to stay in a certain place, in a certain role, in a certain position. And by having that, by them keeping you in that space, it helps them to say, my world's still okay. I'm in a good place. Um, you know, nothing's going to change. I'm okay. Because for some people, it's unsettling to change. Whereas others, and that's very much at the moment you're going to get with the planets the way they are. You're going to get some of us, some people who don't want to change, who are fixed. Some people who haven't got a clue what's going on. And that's absolutely fine. If that's their life and that's their bliss, it's absolutely wonderful. And I'm okay with that. That's their soul journey at this particular time. And that's fine. I'm not judging you. But there's others that you do the work and then you turn around and you bump into them and like, they treat you the same as they thought you were from before, but you've changed. So it's yeah. really about shifting those people. Well, shifting. Yeah, okay, they should have said shifting. Sorry, I'm, it's really rude. But shifting them. Out. What's that? <laughs> Get rid of them. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because they're not serving a purpose. You have got this one life as you, as a particular person in this one life of how you're living your life. You were brought into the planet at this particular time with all the planets the way they are, all the timelines and everything for you to work on this part of you. Life is just too short. When you look back and you think, my God, when you think back to when you were a kid at school, when you were younger, whatever, or some of the memories that you hold, if you think of how many years they go back, you know, most of them don't hold any relevance to your life right now. I mean, in a way, they got you where you are here, but so we could just let go. And so those people that are not serving you, it's about letting go. And also just heard as well, for some people, when there is that change in us as individuals, sometimes we get this sense of a bit of fear, and then sometimes we can end up going back into a relationship thinking, oh, okay, I, you know, I'm on the verge, I'm on the edge, I'm fearful of what my future is going to be because I can't see it right now. So it's like, oh, I stay. And then there's some of us that just say, no, let's not overthink the fearful future. Let's stay present 
let's vibrate our high sort of you know energy levels or just let's be in our bliss our own bliss and find in our own happy place and then the future will sort itself out the future sorts itself out from where you are right now so what you're sending out how you are as an individual person you are creating your future but when you're too fearful and you try to rush into the future with fear you're sabotaging it from the old negative faults that's making you fearful. So it's about stop, pause, surrender what doesn't serve you and pause. And as you said, that um, being within the group and information brought up, well, this is me working with my team. This is not just me doing this on my own. I can't take the like, round of applause for it. I'm working with a team that knows what's going on energetically around the world and for individuals. And I'm just working, ebb and flow. They give me information of backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, if that makes sense. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay.